today too. We are talking about the harmonium, which is our new instrument. Um, it's so weird, I can't look at you when I'm talking to you, but I'll, I'll try to like imagine you're just there in front of me. This is about the harmonium. It's a new um, instrument that actually it started in the West. It was very popular as a sort of portable pipe organ. You could carry it around, have your own little personal piano. And then it got really popular in the East and in India, in Northern India in particular, where um, they started embedding into the music. But um, it's like a pipe organ and an accordion meeting each other. Um, it's, it's reed based, so there's a lot of different interpretations and there's actually a lot of different types of harmoniums as well. Some are bigger than others. You've probably seen these old pipe organs at your grandparents' place. Um, they're also more portable if you're playing concerts and stuff. And they have different names, melodion, and reed organ, pump organ. Um, and it's very expressive. You can actually, when you're playing it, you can control the lever so you can express how much sort of pressure goes through it in the exact same way you do an accordion. The story goes that it was invented in France in, I want to say like 1840 by an, a guy named um, Alexandre de Bain, who was the first inventor out. You can actually see their patents online so you can see this beautiful contraption with reeds and um, pressure points and all this sort of actually a complex instrument. What are um, some great facts about the harmonium? How would you like to use it with Atea? Where do you think it applies? In to me the harmonium is Partially used in Indian music, like we've heard many times, but like I'm, I don't compose so much in that style. I'm more sort of Western in my traditions. Um, I find it great for jazz, but also more expressive and sort of new stuff. I remember the soundtrack for Twelve Monkeys that had that accordion. It has very much that sort of feel. Um, we also sample it in multiple ways, so um, you can sort of play both muted and semi-muted and completely open, where all the reeds are open. Um, you can play it with staccatos and all these different notes. It's super, super nimble. Like it sounds photo realistic when you play it. Um, we actually captured the sounds, just the clacking noises of the keys and they're superimposed on top of the sample so you can control how much of the natural sort of effects that the instrument generates on top of the reed sound. We isolated both of those so it makes it really controllable and nimble that way. Yeah, so um, I think it could be cool to just um, you know wrap it up and see you in the door and uh, let's play with some harmonium. Uh. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my goodness. Uh, Mega, please.